Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically enter and save data inside your Airtable base just by filling out a form. So guys, here we have taken the example of a website form created by Wix application and it can be any type of lead collection form or subscription form or contact form and as and when any person is going to fill that form the data of that form is going to be uh, saved in Airtable database automatically okay let me show you how so this will be the flow of this automation here as and when the uh, Wix form or the website form is going to be submitted the data of the form submission is going to be created as a record in Airtable uh, table automatically okay so you need not to manually fetch the data from Wix and copy the data and paste it here so it will surely save a huge amount of time of yours and guys to make this happen we are using Pabli connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is you can <clears throat> set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge so any person can set up this automation very easily so now let's set up this automation together so guys, first of all, log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And to reach here, please use the link that we have pasted in the description for you. From where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so after setting up your account, you can reach here by logging in and here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So just click on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Wix form to Airtable integration or automation, whatever you want to name it. So after filling the name like this, you can click on this create button and your, uh, your workflow is going to be created like this. Okay, and on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which triggers or start this workflow. And the action is the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new submission received from Wix forms. And the action towards the trigger would be to save the same data of form submission into a table base. Okay, so first of all, we have to set up this trigger here. So from this choose app field, choose the trigger application, which is Wix forms in our case, or just type a Wix here and you'll find this uh, icon, select this. <clears throat> and in the trigger event, you have to select new form submission option. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys, and it is used to uh, fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pabli Connect. So with the help of this, uh, we are going to make the connection with our website form or page. So these are the instructions. You can follow these instructions to make, make this connection. Let me show you how exactly you can make it. So this is my Wix uh, applications dashboard and this is a website I have created. So guys from here, you have to click on select and edit site and you will reach the sites dashboard. And under the website dashboard uh, on the left hand side panel you will find this automations option click on automations and here uh, okay <clears throat> let me read the instructions okay now you have to click on this new automation button and under here guys you have to uh, first of all give the title to this automation so i'm giving the title as to a table and now you have to choose an app and trigger so you, here you have to select this wix forms app okay so after selecting Wix forms application here, it will show this option with uh, selected trigger for this app. So you have to select visitor submits a form option. And from here you have to select specific forms option. And guys, uh, now you have to select the form by on which you want to trigger this, uh, trigger this flow of data. So you have to select the form. This is my form that I have created on my website page. I'm selecting it. Click on apply. Okay. 
and from here you have to select this uh, action which is connect to webhook okay click on connect to webhook and here in this target URL field guys you have to paste the webhook URL that you have here just copy this webhook URL from your workflow and paste it here okay then select all keys and values for this trigger right so after activating you can see it uh, it will show up here like this so this is our new automation we have uh, set up and guys here you can see in Pabli connect as you have copied this webhook URL it started showing this waiting for webhook response so this means now you have to perform a test submission this means you have to fill the form on behalf of any test lead or customer or user and we are going to capture the data of that test lead here okay or form submission here so uh, let me open my website so guys this is the website page I have created and here I have this form attached on this page you can see when you scroll down here you will find this contact us form so when any customer is going to fill this contact form we are going to capture the data let me show you I am filling the form let's say the person who is filling the form is Ms. Harsha Yadav this is the email address of this person and uh, this is a message she is typing for us your website is really cool okay this is a kind of test message uh, we have written now I am submitting this form so you can see the form is submitted now let's check in public connect if we got the data of this form submission captured or not so here you can see in this response received section we got uh, the data captured like this okay so here we have the email address the message and the uh, the name of the person who have filled the form all of it okay so this is how it is going to work guys and so uh, after that we want to save this data that we have received from the form into my base in a table okay so for that to happen you have to connect Airtable in this action step and from this choose a field from this action step search for Airtable and in the action event you have to select create record option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for the API key or the token key for making this connection with Airtable so guys you can uh, uh, get this key from the account section of Airtable so you can see I have already logged in here in Airtable and this is my table I have created here so guys if you want to reach the account section you can reach it from here like this and under this account section you will find this key here just copy this key and paste this key here in this token field then click on save and you will be connected with Airtable okay like this after that it is asking for the base ID the tables name and all these things so you have to select the tables name my tables name is table 1 and the base is Wix forms to a table so first of all select your base base is Wix forms to a table and you can see the table name is automatically selected because we have only one table here which is this okay now it is asking for the first name last name and the email which uh, uh, so these are nothing but the headers of the columns we have in the table okay so i am going to map the data from the first step and i want to save the data of the person who have filled the form so to map the data here just click here in this first name field and you will find this wix forms option in the drop down and from here only you can map the first name which is this for the last name use the same process okay and for the email use the same process and map the email okay now you can check your connection with Airtable by clicking on save and send test request and you will see a new row will be created here automatically okay so I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and this is the response we have uh, received let's check in Airtable if we got the data so this is Airtable and here you can see a new row is added here with the same details that we have filled in the form and received here and mapped it here okay so this is how it is going to work guys and 
you have to set up this automation only once after that you have to you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when any person is going to fill the form the data will be captured and will be delivered here automatically let me show you a real time example so i am filling the form again and this time uh, let's say miss ashi tiwari is filling this form this is the email address and this is a message she has written okay and i'm submitting this form and you can see the form is submitted now let me show you directly in a table if we got the data of this form submission and you can see the data is here automatically okay so our connection is working perfectly and the uh, we are done setting up this automation and guys the best part is you can use this same workflow that i have created because i am going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel